the Pisces. We have the Two of Cups here. So whoever this person is, you do have a soulmate connection to this person. I feel like in the past, this person was not really seeing eye to eye with you. This person wasn't willing to open up um, and reciprocate love and emotions or feelings. And I do feel like this person may have been very difficult to work with or they weren't trying to put in the work or the effort here with you. So this is what I'm seeing. This may have caused some type of separation. Uh, within this connection or breakdown within this emotional connection. I see that this person was very indecisive here about whether they wanted to take this relationship seriously or whether it's almost like maybe taking you seriously, taking the connection seriously. I just really feel like this person was very indecisive about you, very indecisive about your true feelings and emotions for them. Mm -hmm. I feel like this person is definitely an overthinker. I feel like this person overanalyzes the connection, overanalyzes the situation. Honestly, I'm hearing that both of you guys do the same thing. Okay, so Spirit is saying this is a common denominator. This is the problem with both of you guys. You guys both constantly overthink the situation. So you guys are both um, overthinkers. Yeah. You guys live in your head. Instead of in your heart, you're always overthinking, overanalyzing something. If this person sends you a message, it's like you're overanalyzing it. If this, if you send this person a message, then it's like they're reading too much into it. You're reading too much into the situation. I mean, the signals are off, baby. Like, this may have been something in the past, but just the signals are really off. I don't even understand this soulmate connection. You definitely have a connection with this person. You guys definitely share a strong bond, but you guys are unable to connect with one another in a deep like in a deep, meaningful way. So the question is, why are you guys both not able to connect with each other in a very deep and meaningful way? Is because both of you guys keep over analyzing what the one what one person says, what the other person is doing. You're reading too freaking deep into this, right? Reading too deep into this. And so I'm seeing that it's not just this person. Like all the blame does not go to this person and all the blame does not go to you. This is a soulmate connection, meaning that this is a connection that is supposed to be teaching a valuable lesson here. Soulmate connections teaches lessons. And if you see with the two of pentacles, this is the infinity sign. So this is something that you repetitively, uh, the type of person, the type of city, you guys, you have been repetitively repetitively doing this with a lot of connections, not just this person. And that's what spirit is trying to get you to see. The eight of pentacles here moving forward is, hey, how do I fix that? How do I rectify that? How do I get out of my head? How do I stop, you know, being so over critical or over uh, over analyzing um, this situation? You know, it's almost like you and this person are talking each other out of someone actually loving you, respecting you, caring for you, like someone can't care for me that deeply. Someone can't love me that deeply. And that's the type of energy that's coming through. Okay. Now someone's trying to figure out how the hell do I fix that? How do I fix that? How do I get in balance? How do I find this peace and harmony and this balance about this situation, right? So yes, honey, I'm loving this because I do, I wanted, these are just quick readings and we're going to go into the extended, but I love this because you guys have been repetitively meeting soulmate connections like this and not figuring out how to overcome this. The Eight of Pentacles is about being able to work through something, overcome something, fix something, work on your issues, okay? And when I say work on your issues, I'm not saying that you're trying to fix someone. You're actually trying to fix yourself because you're realizing that you are a reflection of this person, that not only does this person have, that you have an issue, but this person also have an issue too. And that's why you guys were brought together. So... <sighs> Let's get into this extended reading because we're going to go deeper into this situation. I love that the outcome of this situation moving forward is that someone's actually seeing where they lack. And someone's actually seeing where they are actually having an issue. Like, okay, I see my issue. Someone's actually seeing their issue. Not just seeing another person's issue, but someone's actually seeing their own issue. Realizing that, you know what, this isn't a, this isn't a somebody else's problem. This is actually my problem too. This is something that I do. And if I want someone to reciprocate love for me, if I want mutual love and respect and a connection, then, and if I want somebody to be able to open up to me, to share something with me, then I have to stop doing something. I have to actually figure out what am I doing to cause the blockage, to cause this inability here to connect with someone. And then I need to fix it and work on this and bring about some type of balance to this situation. And that's exactly what this person is doing, Pisces. That's exactly 
exactly what's happening, okay? So let's see, let's see here. So, you know, this is gonna take some time too. You have to think about it. This is someone's mindset. This is how someone always, they, they're living in their head all the time. Um, and they're seeing, they're like, they're seeing things differently from what someone else is seeing. Excuse me. So let's see. Someone could be journaling, scribing, um, meditation, looking at self-help books. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of self-help books. So this person may be looking at self-help books. They may be reading self-help books is what I'm hearing. That's the biggest thing that I'm seeing that they're doing. Um, some of them are actually journaling. Some of them are actually reading up on it online. But you know what? This is what you're doing too. Why do I feel like both of you guys are kind of like mirroring each other i feel like because in the temperance suit we have the two of cups oh both of you guys are doing this awesome and that's great because that just lets you know that if you're doing something then your your partner is mirroring it right now so you need to know that you're not the only one so if you're over here working on something for yourself trying to be better be a better person um you're trying to have free your mind you're trying to not be this analytical you know person you're trying to find a way to free yourself from your mind, like free your mind. You need to know that your person is doing it too. So both of you guys are actually doing it. So one of you guys probably are using self-help books. The other person is probably journaling, reading up on things online, just different things, meditation. Hmm, I love this. Okay, let's see. What's the, what's the what is it that Pisces? Yes, okay, great. Yeah, so I feel like this is good. Yeah, you guys are marrying each other. You have the yin and yang energy, the chariot energy. Both of you guys are really, um, see, I love this. Both of you guys are being the captain of your ship. Both of you guys are being the driver right now. You're in the driver's seat, and you're making this happen for yourself. I feel like, now I'm not going to lie, in the past it was a bit of like back and forth. It was, it was a little wobbly there, you know what I'm saying? And... You may kind of like, it may have been like, okay, you were up and down, up and down, kind of a little bit with, you know, what you needed to do and how you were going to do it. But eventually, I'm seeing you guys got the willpower and you're making this happen. You're choosing to move in a new direction. Yes, with the sun in reverse. Sun is good. Okay, so the sun is actually letting me know that, yes, some of you guys have a very pessimistic mindset. Thank you, spirit. So, yeah, I feel like some of you guys just really had a very pessimistic mindset. So, this pessimistic mindset when it comes to love, relationship, and connection is keeping you on this Ugh, it's keeping you in this repetitive cycle of feeling very unhappy and fulfilled and unsatisfactory with your connection, your partner, your relationship. And this is happening because this is your mindset. Maybe this is your experiences and what you saw as a child too. Maybe the inner child has a lot to do with your, your bringing up and what you saw with connections and relationships and your interpersonal relationships that you had with people as a young kid growing up. So now you have to reprogram your mind. Okay, thank you, Spirit. So some of you guys are reprogramming your mind. You may be doing this every night. You may be listening to something every day. For some of you guys, this is reprogramming the mind. What you need to know is that the work that you're doing for yourself or the work that this person is doing for you, for themselves is actually affecting this connection as a whole. It's helping you. So know that when you meet these soulmate connections, it's not in vain. It is going to help you. It is going to propel you. And that's what it's doing in the chariot. This, this connection is going to propel you to see something that wasn't very clear, but it was clear, but you didn't realize that it was affecting you on that level. So this situation has always been clear to you, but you just felt like, I don't think you were really seeing that maybe the part that you played. Like, it's a very, very big part. Yeah, five of swords in my verse. So this is great. This is great. See? Five of Swords is about resentment. It's about conflict. It's about, you know, pettiness, wanting to get back at the other person. Um, just, how can I say, like, very, ugh, just, ugh. It could have to do with clashing of arguments, um, survival mode, self-interest, some type of conquest, wanting to win the argument or wanting to win the conversation. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Um, yeah, it, it's like, you know, it's ego driven, I would say. And I feel like now 
You guys are really like training your mind or working on your mind or working on yourselves and training yourself not to look at conflict in that way. So some of you guys are actually learning how to handle conflict or learning that conflict is it's okay to have conflict. Conflict is normal, you know, um, learning how to amend conflict in a healthy way, learning that conflict is healthy, that conversations and those communications is still communication. It is still normal conversations that need to be had. Like, I don't think you guys seen, uh, how to handle conflicts as you as you were growing up as a child you may have seen people handle conflict in a very negative way dominating the other person in the conversation um trying to win you know like a conquest mode where you know saying things that's hurtful to make the other person seem less you know i don't know like smart trying to belittle the other person to make them look dumb like you guys saw a lot of stuff like that and now <laughs> You're definitely trying to rewrite, like rewire your mind or your brain to realize that conflict is can be healthy. Um, com like it's needed, and there's a healthy way to solve conflict. Um, yeah, yeah. Ego base, definitely driven from the ego. Prideful conversation, prideful communication. Ooh. Yes, some of you guys have definitely... Okay, so a lot of you guys are working through some type of embarrassment and shame as a child. Um, someone may have really was very harsh in their communication with you as a child. They may try... Like, this is the type of parent, and I'm not going to say that... I'm not going to knock any parent for doing this, because, again, we are all learning. But as a child, this person... You need to know this about this person. As a child, this person may have, like... As parents, we're not perfect. So who, whatever happened to this child, it was almost like when they got, when their parent communicated with them or their siblings communicated with them, the way that they, uh, it's almost like I'm going to tear you down to build you up. So I'm going to say, why are you so stupid? Are you stupid? Do you want to be stupid? Okay, then if you're not stupid, then you... So it's like the way someone talks to a child or the way that someone talked to you as a child made this this identity, this ego, this 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 form of conflict, it just did not make it healthy. Um, also, it kind of interfered with the ego. So it just... Ugh, it literally fed the ego. It fed your ego in a way. Um, this is weird. It's almost like belittling a child to make them feel confident but instead it didn't make you feel confident okay if anything it made you felt like you had to dominate the other person or one up the other person or make the other person look like shit so that you could show them that it's like i'm gonna show you better than i can tell you it just ended up being like a dom domination ego conflict thing it was just crazy it's just crazy and this is how your interpersonal relationships were as a child this is how this person interpersonal relationship was as a child maybe so but definitely this is what they were grown up to see this is what they grew up to see that in order to like and when you're in conflict, this is how you handle conflict, which then in turn affected their interpersonal relationships with people or just in general. Wow, what is going on? Whew, okay, yes, everything is fine. And I feel like this is so sad because they had to be okay with this. They had to be okay with this type of upbringing. They had to be okay with this. This was a type of rearing that was supposed to make you stronger. It was supposed to make you want to be better. Um, it did. And can I say it wasn't successful? No, it worked. It actually worked. It worked for you or it worked for your person. Um, but the thing is, it ended up hindering you guys and not really showing you guys how to handle conflict. Um, it's almost like this is the, that the way that you were taught, the way that this person talked down to you and said things to you or embarrassed you or made you feel like this. Um, that's how you start to become with people in general, in conversations, your day-to-day -day conversations, the way you think, your mentality about conflict, about people, about their words. 
um, about their intentions. It just became that you became, it became ingrained in you. So it became ingrained in this person. And this is why it's so hard for this person to actually have a relationship with you. What? And you're probably saying, what does that have to do with me? It has a lot. This is this, this person is their integral part of them. You know, they always say, you definitely got to go see, you got to know like this person's background and how they were brought up. It's very important. If you want to be in any type of connection with anyone, it's, it's really important to understand someone's upbringing and what they experience, their experience here. Hmm. A lot of issues here with the inner child and not really knowing how to be happy. I feel like, you know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of putting on and acting uh, to serve some type of agenda or some or to be a certain way um that validation that someone never received as a child again because the validation what there was no validation or recognition as a child if anything there was a lot of um there was a lot of negative like words they they came in they kind of like yeah tried to use negative words to build this 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 person up <laughs> i don't know what this is definitely a childhood thing this is how this person was brought up and, and they feel like this is normal. This is fine. This is a normal way to be. This is a normal way to think. This is, this is fine. It's fine. But not knowing that it is a, this type of thinking is affecting their relationships. It's, it's making it hard for them to actually trust people, to know that people really do um, want to reciprocate love and respect, or people will actually respect them or love them or Ooh, be there for them or let people in or <laughs> okay okay but I love how this person is really working hard they're working really hard on this like you need to know this person is working really hard on this and I see that they are making progress this person has to learn how to validate themselves they have to learn how to validate themselves how to give themselves recognition in a positive way positive reinforcements so now someone is having to say positive things to themselves. Maybe this is positive affirmation. I'm so proud of you. You're doing well. You're doing an awesome job. Um, like, and they have to incorporate into other people giving them that same type of compliment and being able to accept it and recognize it. Instead of, okay, someone said it, but it doesn't mean anything. Psh, throw it out. You know, like it doesn't mean, you see what I'm saying? So, wow, this is tough. And this is something very deep. I see here in the near future what's happening here. Yeah, the high priestess. This is beautiful. These are all good. Yeah, the king of swords here in reverse. Yeah. This is definitely was not easy. Because someone was definitely harsh and overcritical to this person as a child. Um, the way that this person talked, the way that they act the way that they definitely the way that they talk something about their communication style or the way they talk this person was they were they were really um someone was very harsh to them as a child the way that they talk and something about the way that they um the way that they were just in general the way that they act wow okay I feel like it makes it really hard. I feel like with the high priestess, this person, I do feel like this person is very intuitive. Um, or it, it's, it may have made this person a very intuitive person. That's how they connect with people, through their intuition. They have a strong intuition. It's like this person is an empath. Yeah, you're dealing with an empath. This person can like feel the room, feel the energy of the room. So whoever you're dealing with, they're an empath, but I'm sure you probably are an empath too. But that's how you guys communicate, like empathically. You guys may com communicate with one another empathically. That's what it means. You guys may have um, this telepathic communication with one another. Or it's like you guys just know what each other is thinking or feeling. This person does that. They've been doing this since they were a child. You've been doing this since you were a child. I feel like you have definitely met a soulmate connection that is a very deep connection. 
So this is a very deep connection. So anytime you hear someone say, oh, this is so deep, or you get a card that says this, we're in too deep, you guys share a lot of traits on a spiritual, on a deep spiritual level. And it just makes you guys, it's like you guys just naturally understand each other in a very spiritual way. Wow, okay. And I feel like it's so crazy because I feel like this person's intuition is trying to tell them something. Your intuition is trying to tell you something. And I feel like this is exactly what it's trying to communicate. This experience, the reason why you guys are here, the reason why you guys have met each other. Um, it's trying to get you guys to actually dig deep. And that is trusting your higher self. This king of swords is here though. Because I feel like this person may have tried to detach Someone has tried to detach this person. They try to detach from their intuition. They always try to detach from their intuition. I don't know why they do that. Okay. So they hear their intuition. Their intuition is telling them something about you in this connection. Telling them how serious this connection is and how they should be moving towards you. But then they try not to listen to it. Like, it's almost like this person is doing all of this effort and this work for themselves, but they don't realize how deeply you are part of this whole experience. Like you're a very, in, like a very important person. <laughs> and I think that's where they're missing this at. They're missing that. They're missing that. They're really missing that you are a very important person in this development. That's what it is. They're missing that. Their intuition is trying to tell them that but they're missing it. <laughs> and it's like this person is doing the effort. They're doing, they're working on this. They're doing all of the work and the effort and they are getting through this. They're healing it. But you have to understand that right now, this is like self work. Like this person is doing right now, but they're not seeing, they're not really seeing the part that you play right now in all of this. So they may be very aloof to you. They may not be talking to you or communicating with you right now, but it's so sad because they are spying on you. They are spying on you. For some of them, their ego and their pride may be getting in the way. So they're spying on you. Yeah, they're spying on you through the internet, through the World Wide Web. For some of you guys, you need to know this person is spying on you through the internet, the World Wide Web. Um, they're looking at old photos of you in their phone. They're looking at you through um, some type of electronic devices. I don't know. This could be Instagram. This could be Facebook. This could be YouTube. This person is watching you. They're always watching you. They're like stalking you. <laughs> they're stalking you they're trying some of you get some okay i heard that some of them are trying to look you up or find you on the internet so they're trying to look you up or find you um on certain social media sites so this person's actually trying to find you on social media sites it's so funny though but they're actually working on themselves while also still being worried about you but then <laughs> they're still overcritical of you <laughs> okay what Tell me more. This person really doesn't see how you're an important part of this situation. <laughs> you're an important part of the picture. So, yeah. Wow. This is crazy. I do feel like in the near future, though, this person is, again, they're going to start spying on you. And they're going to get to a place where they want to um, have a conversation here with you. And that's why they're going to start looking for you. Because they are doing this work. And after they're finished doing this work, it's going to come to an end. They're going to realize this. They're going to put this ego-driven type of conflict, interpersonal conflicts. You know, they're going to put this some type of childhood issues. They're going to get to the bottom of this. They are going to get to the bottom of this, okay? And I feel like they're going to want to, their intuition is going to be driving them to make peace with you, um, to have a conversation with you, to talk to you, and they will be looking for you in order to do that, okay? They will be looking for you. I feel like they're going to kind of give their intuition a little fight. They're going to try to be aloof to it or say, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not going to try to reach out to this person. I'm not going to try to find this person, but eventually they go back. They start to like spy. They start to look because their intuition is nudging them to get in contact with you, to talk to, to talk to you, to find you. Okay. Because you are an important part. Like I'm hearing you are an important piece to my puzzle. Yes, you are. This is what I'm getting. This is like a puzzle, a maze. You are a very important piece to the puzzle. I'm hearing you are the perfect piece like to this puzzle. Hmm. 
That is crazy. Well, I'm hearing you are an important piece to my puzzle. Or I'm hearing you fit perfectly. And it's like, and it's one of those cards that I've seen in um, the Parvati, Parvati deck. Yeah. It's almost like I feel like, yeah, you bring some type of sense of um, completion to this person's life is what I'm hearing. You're, an, you're a missing piece to the puzzle. I'm hearing we fit perfectly together because you guys do. You guys do in some way. Okay, this is really interesting. So just know that the outcome of this situation, this person is going to find you somehow, some way. And I do feel like you and this person will reconnect because this person is feeling like you are the missing piece of their puzzle and there is something that they want to solidify here with you. So I do feel like this person is only wanting to solidify something, um, find some closure here with you. And I feel like this person is going to say, hey, they need this closure. They're going to realize that they need this closure here with you. And that's the issue. Sometimes a lot of people leave these soulmate connections, not getting the closure that they seek, um, not even understanding what, what the connection was here for. But I love that the outcome of the situation is that you and this person will find peace with the temperance here. You guys will find peace a peace of mind. You guys will get a peace of mind about this connection, this whole connection. And I love this. Some of you guys, the outcome is that you and this person may be in a long-term uh, committed relationship. Okay. So I do see that some of you guys will get in relationships and it will be a very committed relationship and it probably would last a very long time is what I'm hearing. For some of you guys, it might end up in marriage, but for some of you guys, this is going to be a very, um, ooh, this is going to be a, 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 like I'm hearing like we're in it for the long haul, or I'm hearing that, you know, um, you're you're an important person in my life. So it's one of those connections where it's like they're going to end up developing a lot of love and respect for you, and they're going to see you as someone where it's like I never want to lose touch with you, and I never want to, to lose you out of my life. You're a very important person in my life. Like, you have really helped me to see things, and I have really helped you to see things. So it's going to be a very harmonious relationship. And I love that. This is what this is going to end up being, you guys. This is beautiful to see that. But it also took the work on each other's part in order for you guys to get there. So this is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I love it. What's the love message here when it comes to you and this person? So what is this person's love messages to you? What is this person's love messages to you, my beautiful Pisces? What is their love messages to you? I'm tired of waiting. Yeah, bet so. I don't care how you feel. <laughs> I don't care how you feel. Yep, it just don't feel right. And this is what they were. This is what they're feeling. See, the outcome hasn't came yet, but this is how this person is feeling. Like the two of cups in reverse is someone who's not really understanding your feelings, and you're not understanding their feelings. It's not being understood. You, you, and this person are not understanding the emotions and the feelings. You guys are just not connecting. That's why I kept saying, I don't care how you feel. In the beginning, this person, they're not understanding. The connection. They're not understanding why you guys are not connecting. And it's making them feel like, well, you don't care, so I don't care. See, we have it just don't feel right. I don't care how you feel. This is something about feelings. Like you and this person have a hard time with romantic relationships and interpersonal relationships. It's not just a romantic thing. It's literally like both of you guys have a hard time with interpersonal relationships and interpersonal romantic relationships. Yes. I'm so lonely without you because eventually they will be. They will realize that I need to talk to you. I'm telling you that's going to come about. Please take me back. That's going to happen. I cannot control myself around you. <laughs> what does this person want to tell Pisces? What are you doing to me? Because this person didn't realize how much. Hmm. How much you guys mean to each other. How much, like, part that you played in this. Yes, leave me alone. I'm telling you, remember I told you this person was trying to detach? They were trying to fight and ignore their uh, intuition. That's that leave me alone. <laughs> Tell me more. I really want to see you. That's what I'm saying. This person is stalking you online. You get what I'm saying? They're stalking you. They're going to get to a point. See, that's what I'm saying. This person, they're like indecisive. They In the past, they were just very indecisive. And it's shown here 
with the two of pentacles, this person was very indecisive about what was going to make them happy when it came to you. They were just so indecisive. Their intuition is telling them. Some of them, their intuition is telling them that, hey, like this person is going to be in your life for a very long time. You might want to go back and get it right with this person. That's what their intuition is telling them. Like, this person is going to be in your life for a very long time. You're, you know what I'm saying? The part body deck. What is the love messages that this person wants to give to you? I'm in despair. I messed up. I know. Past life. Again, that inner child. I need you. Something in their past. They do need you. You make me feel things. <laughs> Again, we keep seeing you make me feel things. I don't care how um, you feel. And then there was another one here where it was saying something about the feelings. Yeah, it was like, it just don't feel right. That's the thing. You guys, you guys have a hard time with your feelings. You and this person have a hard time with opening up to people in regards to your feelings. That's all it is. It's you and this person. That's why you guys met each other. One more. I feel so confused. Right. Again, those feelings. Those feelings. And feelings, emotions can cloud judgments. Emotions can cloud your thinking. And that's what's going on. Let me tell you how you should be moving towards this person right now in the current moment, Pisces. How should you be moving towards this person right now in the current moment? We have strength and we have the two of cups. Oh my God, you see what I'm saying? Feelings, two of cups. The biggest block is the first one that came out, two of cups. See what I'm saying? Wow, Pisces. Oh, overall energy is the three of cups. Okay, so Pisces, you need to get in control over your emotions and feelings, okay? This is a lesson. I keep telling you, this is a soulmate connection. Um, I'm not getting karmic, but it could come off that way. But this is definitely a soulmate connection. And there's a lesson to be here, how to reciprocate love, how to be attentive to someone else's needs and emotions and feelings, and how to receive it. It's, a, it's attentiveness here too. Okay, my beautiful Pisces? Like, this is really beautiful, Pisces. I really feel like Spirit is trying to really get you to find their inner strength here to open up. To open up and reciprocate your love, your emotions, your feelings. But they want you to feel this. You have to feel this deeply within yourself. And the only way that you're going to feel this deeply within yourself in order to be able to reciprocate this and for it to be reciprocate back is some of you guys are really having to get out of your head, okay? And you're having to get through this, this strength, this energy here, finding that, that strength here. Some of you guys are just like, I'm telling you, why do I feel like, especially with this three of cups here, and the two of pentacles, I just kind of feel like you ran into a lot of people in situations as a child where someone may have like tested you or um, they did not. It's almost like it's broken trust, not being able to trust people, not being able to let people in. And I do really feel like the way you should be coming towards this person is you really need to find an inner strength here to open your heart up to reciprocate love, emotions, and feelings, and trust, and respect, okay? Mutual respect, mutual trust, okay? Knowing that there are people out there that do respect you, that do love you, that will open up to you, that will give you the same thing in return, okay? And that's what I'm seeing, my beautiful Pisces. It's, it's, I'm hearing it's up to you and it's your decision, but, you know... It's not going to be easy because the strength is here. So it's almost like telling you to just open up and trust anybody. But what they're saying is they also want you to be able to trust your intuitions too. Um, they're not saying that you should just go up to this person and just open up. You know, but they're saying that it starts with you first. It starts with you first. Like, this is where it starts, okay? But this is beautiful, my beautiful Pisces.